What's going on you guys? Cody Steck, your Utah Realtor here. Today we're taking a look around Draper, Utah. This is on the south end of Salt Lake County and it's one of the best cities here in the entire county. I'm actually here in the middle of December. We've got a really nice day. So I thought it'd be the right time to come out and shoot a video and show you a little bit about what it's like to live here in Draper, Utah. So I'm right here at Draper City Park kind of sits right in the middle of the heart of Draper here and it's just a beautiful park all the way around. They've got a river that runs through it here. It's kind of dry right now just because of the time of year but it's an amazing park. They've got baseball diamond, playgrounds, a path that goes all the way through, volleyball. They've got everything that you would need here if you're looking to have some fun on uh, you know, a summer day or even a day in the middle of December. So I'm gonna take you around, show you a little bit about what it's like to live here. If you guys are thinking about relocating here to the Draper, Utah area, or even Salt Lake City or the surrounding areas, make sure to get in touch with me. I'd love to have a discussion with you about what type of lifestyle and what type of home is gonna be best for you as you move here to the Salt Lake City area. Whether you're looking in Draper and you're relocating for a job or you're looking for work or maybe you just got out of school, whatever the reason is, just make sure to get in touch with me. My information is here on the screen. Call me, text me, email me. Just get a hold of me any way that you need to. I want you to know I absolutely love it when people reach out with questions. So make sure you do that and let's have a chat. All right, so before we actually go out and get started looking at neighborhoods, I do want to give you just kind of an orientation about where we're at here within the city. So we're going to jump over to the map um, and show you guys kind of some of these points that I'm pointing out for you here so you can get an idea of where you sit. So this, uh, this mountain here behind me, you can see here is South Mountain. There are homes that are up on the mountain there. You can get either get way up on top. I don't know if you can see those here in the camera, but you can get way, on, way up on top or you can just get halfway up, right? If that's what you're looking for. So I know the sun's kind of in the way, but that's South Mountain. Right here to the east, you've got the Wasatch Mountains. These are some beautiful mountains. They've got canyons that you can go hiking in, skiing, snowshoeing, doing whatever you want to do, rock climbing. They've got a ton of stuff there. And then a little bit further north, you're gonna find Little Cottonwood Canyon. That's how you get to Snowbird and Alta, the ski resorts up there. Amazing ski resorts. Snowbird's my all-time favorite to ski at, and uh, that's how you get to, the, to those resorts there. All right, now my favorite thing about this area in Draper is that you can find homes ranging from 300,000 all the way up to a million plus. Whatever type of home you're looking for, we've got you covered here. Just tell us what you want and we'll find it. The other really cool thing about this is that you can find homes that are gonna be your entry level homes. You've got condos, townhomes, and single family homes, all under 400,000. I know that sounds like a lot, but compared to the surrounding areas, it's really not too bad. So you can find these homes at very affordable prices. And when you're ready to upgrade, you can stay in the same neighborhood and still find that home that's gonna be your move up home when you're ready to do that. Whether you're looking in the six to 800,000 range, or a million plus, this is the place that you wanna be. You can stay in Draper your entire life, find the home that you want, and still have all of the amenities that you're looking for. The other thing that you guys are gonna absolutely love about Draper is that the schools are so good here. They're above average compared to the rest of the area, and I would argue that they're probably the best in the entire county. You've got Alta High School, Corner Canyon High School, Juan Diego Catholic High School, and if you're on the northern end of Draper, you might even run into Jordan High School, although that one actually sits in the Sandy City limits just to the north. But these high schools and even the middle schools are really good. They sit above average on the rankings, and if that's important to you, you're not gonna go wrong with these schools. They've got great programs, and they're just great all the way around.
All right, guys, I just had to get up here on top of South Mountain to show you guys the type of view that you can get here if you're living up here. So this part of town is actually called Suncrest. It's actually its own uh, neighborhood, if you will, inside of the city limits of Draper. And the cool thing about living up here is you've got homes all the way from 300,000 all the way up to a million plus. So you've got a home for everybody. If you're looking to live here and get a view and kind of get out of the city a little bit, this is the place that you want to be. It's an awesome neighborhood and it's all relatively new. So because it's new, you've got new homes, you've got new places, and it's mostly residential at this point, but it is getting developed and there is commercial coming in. So if you're looking for those commercial things, you are going to have to go into town just a little bit in order to get that. But this place is going to be developed more and more over the next five to 10 years, and you're going to get a lot more of those amenities. So this is a great way to kind of get out of the city and live in an awesome place where it's mostly residential and still get an amazing view like this. All right, so I'm on this trail here. It's called Potato Hill. It's a trailhead here. And you can actually bring your horses up here if you've got horses, or you can bring your dogs up here. The dogs do have to be on leash, but it's an awesome trail. So guys, maybe buying a house here isn't quite your thing or you're just relocating here and you're looking to rent something for a little bit before buying. Well, I've got you covered. These apartments here behind me are an amazing addition. They just finished these last year and there's a lot more going up here in the surrounding areas. These are good luxury apartments. They've got one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedrooms. And the prices are gonna be a little bit higher just because they're new and they're in such a nice part of town. But I highly recommend that if you're looking to rent here something for that first year, uh, before moving and buying something, this is a great option. You can find something here that will fit for the family until you are ready to make that jump and buy something. So look into these if you're looking to move here and you want to rent. All right, guys, so that wraps up our Draper tour today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here. I tried to just give you a look around the neighborhood and show you a little bit about the types of homes and some of the areas and views that you can get while living in Draper. It's an awesome area, and if you're thinking about relocating here, like I mentioned, get in touch with me. I absolutely love it when people reach out asking about the area, whether you're looking to rent, you're looking to buy right off the bat, or whatever the case may be. If you've just got questions, get in touch. My number and information is here on the screen call me text me email just get a hold of me any way that you need to if you like this content give me a thumbs up here on the video and consider subscribing to the channel to get updated on future videos when i release them as always follow me on instagram at utah real estate underscore i try to post there often i'd love for you to be a part of it as well and guys until next time